In this video, we are going to talk about finding the equation of a hyperbola based on given information. Suppose our hyperbola has a center at 4, negative 3, a focus at 9, negative 3, and a vertex at 7, negative 3. Since the center of the hyperbola occurs at h, k, h is equal to 4, and k is equal to negative 3. Now note that the center, focus, and vertex all lie along y equals negative 3. Because our center, focus, and vertex lie along y equals negative 3, y equals negative 3 is our transverse axis. The transverse axis is parallel to a coordinate axis and here it is parallel to the x-axis. So our center, 4, negative 3, our focus, 9, negative 3, and our vertex, 7, negative 3. With our transverse axis lying along y equals negative 3, running parallel to the x-axis. The distance from our center to our vertex from 4 to 7 is 3 units. A equals, where x equals 7, minus x equals 4, so a is equal to 3. The distance from the center, where x equals 4, to the focus, where x equals 9, is a distance of 5 units. So c equals 5. To find b, we'll use the formula b squared equals c squared minus a squared. So b squared equals 25 minus 9, which means b squared equals 16. taking the square root of both sides, and since distance is positive, we'll just use our positive answer, b equals 4. Because our transverse axis is parallel to x, our equation takes the form x minus h squared divided by a squared minus y minus k squared 
divided by b squared equals 1. Plugging in our values, we have x minus 4 squared divided by a squared, which is 9, minus y minus k squared, where k is equal to negative 3. So y minus negative 3 gives us y plus 3 squared divided by 16 equals 1. Since b equals 4, from the center we need to move 4 units up, 4, 1, and 4 units down, I sketched this coordinate in the wrong place. So let's redraw that coordinate point. So 4, positive 1, since it's up 4 from the center. So 4, 1, and then 4, negative 7. And our vertex on the left will be 1, negative 3. Our focus will be negative 1, negative 3. Since our hyperbola is symmetric, and so not the greatest graph, but enough to give you an idea. And here's our equation for our hyperbola. This concludes our example. I hope you found the video helpful, and we'll see you next time.